Weighing of options. Assessment of risk. Teamwork. Industry research. Safety. For the 2009 Crane and Rigging Job of the Year, Crane Rental Corporation wants to tell you about the use of a rare rigging technique that required a broad range of equipment, research, and customer commitment. This is about the great things that happen when the project owner, the contractor, and the crane and rigging company work as a team to control variables, weigh the options, buy into the plan, and make it happen. One of Florida's coal-fired power plants is adding a rail car unloading facility and conveyor system to feed its four units. The plant has a 1,900 megawatt output and serves 667,000 customers on the west side of the state. From the rail spur, the conveyor runs west along the north bank of the intake canal for the power plant, which is just south of the canal. Somehow, the conveyor would have to cross the intake canal. In the spring of 2009, Crane Rental Corporation was asked for its assessment and strategy implementation for this challenging task. Orlando-based Crane Rental Corporation is a 25-year member of the Specialized Carriers and Riggers Association. The company has a diverse range of products and skills, including conventional and hydraulic cranes, modular transports, gantries, and specialized rigging equipment. The job entailed setting a 150-foot-long conveyor weighing 240,000 pounds across the intake canal that was 240 feet wide. The project was performed over eight days between November 2nd and 10th. It seemed like a relatively simple task at first, and the most obvious choices were considered first, like placing two large cranes on each shoreline. That way, they could assemble the conveyor on a barge then push the barge into close proximity of the two cranes on shore, lift, and set in place the conveyor system. Or how about placing a large crane on a barge as well as the conveyor on a separate barge and perform the setting from the barge-mounted crane? The shoreline area that would be required for the two large cranes could not be used for crane setup due to seawall restrictions and area restraints. This option was also twice the anticipated budget allowed. The option for using a barge-mounted crane was rejected as well due to budgetary reasons and availability of the crane required to perform the lift. What about a gantry system and conveyor section on a single barge? Nice! Crane Rental Corporation brought its client a concept sketch and preliminary budget estimate to set the conveyor system using a barge-mounted gantry system. The project owner and contractor gave a nod to this idea and the project planning moved forward. Tidal variances, drag, water flow, and wind have caused gantries to f when working on barges in the past. In checking with industry partners, Crane Rental learned that some companies avoid this method altogether. However, Crane Rental knew that if they could control and plan for these forces, the job would be a success. Initial questions had to be answered. What type of barge is best suited for this? Would the barge fit in the canal? What stroke do the gantry legs need? What's the water intake schedule of the plant? What kind of kite effect would the conveyor section have? Enter 2DM Associates, a consulting engineering firm based in Houston, and hydraulic gantry manufacturer JNR Engineering based in Mukwanago, Wisconsin. Both firms were handed a long list of questions to address. Each question seemed like it would be the one that would surely halt the project. Crane Rental reached out to the industry and started interviewing the subject matter experts throughout the southeastern U.S. Thanks to many SC and RA members and engineering groups, we finally came up with a plan that would work. The plan was packed with restrictions such as wind forces, water drag, tide conditions, and operating parameters of the equipment being used, but we had a green light to proceed. Crane Rental Corporation's field service and estimators are tenacious and will go to all ends of the earth to satisfy the customer. Crane Rental reached out as far as New Jersey to try and locate a suitable barge. Crane Rental had to find a suitable barge that would be available for the right time period. It had to be ABS certified to handle the deck loading. This challenge proved to be very difficult. The best fit was a 180 foot by 50 foot ABS certified barge, 
This type is in high demand, and no nearby suppliers were interested in a short term. As the deadline was drawing closer, a suitable barge fresh out of dry dock and certified from Mobro Marine in Green Cove Springs, Florida was booked. The arrangements were made and the delivery schedule was set. Crane Rental's 700-ton lift and lock gantry, built by JNR Engineering, was selected due to the stroke required to set the high side of the conveyor. Calculations were performed to determine the amount of drag on the barge due to tidal flow and the demands of the intake pumps for the operating plant. Wind computations were also developed to determine the allowable amount of wind speed to maintain stability of the suspended load on a dynamic platform and to factor in the kite effect of the conveyor. Ballast computations were also issued to determine the amount of water required to level the barge after loading. Fresh water was required for ballasting and had to be made available during operations. Two ballasting pumps were on board and available to transfer water as needed. All components on board the barge had to have 100% securing devices installed to prevent unwanted movement due to pitch and roll associated with wave action and positioning. The barge was too wide to come through the Central Florida waterway, so the delivery path was down the east coast of Florida through the Keys and up the west coast into Tampa Bay. After a couple of storm delays, the barge arrived on time and was docked shoreside at the power plant. During the mobilization of the barge, Crane Rental supplied its Grove 550-ton hydraulic all-terrain crane to set the two cantilever sections and one additional section of conveyor over the water at both sides of the canal. With the 550-tonner finished with the cantilever end sections, Crane Rentals Grove 240-ton crane mobilized to assist with the construction of the conveyor and the erection of the gantry system on the barge. As the mobilization plan was being put into motion, Hurricane Ida and her increasing winds were traveling northward just west of Cuba and flirting with an easterly turn. Crane Rental responded by calculating the possible wind speeds and tidal surge associated with the storm. In response, the barge was moved further offshore to ensure that it wouldn't be blown free of its moorings or bottom out in the canal. Perhaps out of respect for all the efforts put forth by the team, Ida decided not to hit Tampa. A fall protection plan was implemented by the general contractor and a full-time safety boat was deployed to monitor the activities and transport workers on and off the barge. Life vests were required on board at all times during the project and special life vests were acquired to allow our personnel the ability to wear a body harness and have the flotation requirements of the life vests as well. Lighting systems ensured productivity in the long hours associated with meeting the deadlines of the client. Sanitary facilities were placed on board. Special containment barriers were installed to retain any unforeseen hydraulic spills associated with the onboard equipment. Daily planning meetings ensured coordination of efforts and maintained a safe work environment on such a restricted area. Shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder scaffolding crews, welders, pipe fitters, sheet metal workers, riggers, and iron workers assembled components of the conveyor section while the barge was moored to the west of the install site. Crane Rental had foremen on the job around the clock to monitor and implement a response to any issues that would be triggered by weather, mechanical issues, and drag and water level. With weather clear and the assembly completed on deck, the time window was beginning to close. The decision was made to proceed with a lift in between a pair of storm fronts. In accordance with the engineered lift plans from 2DM, Crane Rental placed four dead men weighing 50,000 pounds each strategically on the north and south shorelines to tie the barge off and to use for final positioning. Two tugboats and crews moved the barge from shore to a close proximity of its final position. Special care and caution was used during the tugboat operations to protect the adjacent mangroves, and a special manatee watch was put into place to ensure that none of these animals were in the canal during movement. The tugboat crews and the crane rental team worked together to walk the barge into position with only two feet of clearance, coordinating the tugs and the onboard spuds. Tuggers mounted to the deck of the barge were then deployed to the onshore deadman and the final positioning was underway. 
slowly tugging the barge within eight inches of final position. The lines were secured and the spud set. The crane rental crew was now ready to lift and set the conveyor system. The draft of the barge and all securing chains and binders were checked and approval was given to make the lift. Crane Rental utilized the JNR 700 ton gantry system and power links to raise to elevation and side shift into place the 240,000 pound conveyor system without a hitch. The bolt up of the conveyor was now the task at hand. This procedure took approximately 36 additional hours. The Crane Rental crew had anticipated the incoming and outgoing tide concerns and the challenge of maintaining a constant weight during bolt up. So with JNR Engineering's help, pressure gauges were installed on each gantry leg to be monitored during the connection phase. November 8th, six tides and 48 hours later, the connections were complete and the gantry system was lowered in preparation for disassembly. After confirmation the connections were properly made and the structure was stable, Crane Rental began its demobilization. Its Grove GMK 5240 hoisted the gantry system and associated off the barge and onto its homeward bound trucks. The project team, with Crane Rental, controlled a wide range of hazards and variables to deliver a cost-effective job. Crane Rental had approximately 1,600 man-hours on the task, which was completed with zero incidents and accidents, a remarkable testimony to the men and women involved. Because of the number of risks which were controlled, the variety of equipment on the job, the extraordinary lengths taken to prepare for the work, and the net results, we believe this project should be strongly considered for Project of the Year. The method of gantry lifting from a barge in an environment with moving water and fluctuating depths was refined in a way that moves the industry forward for all of us in the rigging profession. Thank you for your consideration.